Hi guys, it's Kai here and welcome back to, uh, I was gonna say a Kai Talks, but it's not really a Kai Talks, is it? Maybe? I don't know. Don't know. But anyways, we are going to do the 50 facts about me tag thingy, uh, just because. I don't know. I thought it was interesting. It was actually kind of hard for me to come up with 50 facts. Coming up with 50 facts about yourself is probably more difficult than you think, but I highly suggest doing it because I feel like I learned some stuff about myself or realized some things. But yeah, anyways, let's just get into it. What am I doing with my hands? I don't know. Let's go. I love the fog. Like, I think it's gorgeous. Foggy days, love them. My job is to design kitchens and bathrooms. I always sneeze more than once, at least three times. Always. Wolverine is by far my favorite Marvel character. I absolutely adore reading. I don't get to travel very often, but I love it. I don't know what it is about packing up and going to some new place and experiencing new things, but I love it. If you see my previous videos, you know I can't draw. It actually makes me like physically frustrated that I can't do it. I don't drink and I don't do drugs, never have, never will. I love listening to people talk about their passions, even if I don't understand what it is that they're talking about. My favorite movie is Pretty Woman, even though I hate romance movies despise them. I can't stand storms and I've actually once cried because the thunder scared me so much. I work in extremes. I either have something super goofy or something super serious and I hardly ever float in the middle. I literally cannot sleep in. Like the extent of me sleeping in is like eight o'clock. I really want to go scuba diving and see a shipwreck. I can't stand when people are put down or judged for things that they love. If it's not hurting you or anyone around you, why does it matter? I honest to God believe that I'm not going to get married. I'm one of those people that notices the little things about others, you know, the little things that they do, the little things that they say, everything. I tend to cling to people because I'm afraid that they're leaving. But if I feel like I'm unwanted, I tend to drift away and see if you reach out to me. And if you don't, that just kind of validates my feelings that I'm not wanted. Bad habit, I know, uh, working on it. I hate being made to look stupid with friends, with relationships, with anything that I'm doing. If I come out looking dumb because I trusted you or believed you, I don't like that. I cannot stand when I don't understand why. I love knowing things, so if I don't understand why something is the way it is or why something happened, I get frustrated because I try to figure it out and I can't because you can't, honestly, you can't figure everything out. You just can't. But it makes me mad, I guess, that sometimes I can't figure out why. One of my biggest pet peeves is if you have your windshield wipers on too fast for the amount of rain that's coming down. I really don't believe that I want kids. I literally cannot cry in the shower. I don't know if anybody else can, but you know how like in the movies there's like a super sad, usually a girl like crying in the shower? I, I can't, I just can't. I love anything that's cotton candy flavored. I know it's basically just sugar flavor, but I love it. I don't like being ignored. It makes my anxiety like flare up. I have a weird connection with dogs. Ever since I was little, my dad, obviously I love dogs, but my dad said that anywhere we go, if there's a dog, the dog is like attached to me somehow. They, you know, follow me around. My dogs currently are sitting on the floor watching me do this. I don't know what it is. Dogs love me. I love them. It's all good. I am a picture hoarder. I love taking pictures. I love having pictures. I have a whole wall of pictures. I wish I had more. I love pictures. I like collecting things, specifically things related to pop culture or like games or movies that I like. I actually recently picked up collecting those pop vinyls. I don't know why. It's a horrible thing to have started. I now have three of them, but I can't help it. I like them. I love old muscle cars, specifically a 1970s Chevelle. When I buy new things, I leave it in the bag for a while because I'm afraid of messing it up. I'm hypoglycemic, which basically just means I have low blood sugar, so I have to watch what I eat. I don't really watch what I eat, but I'm supposed to eat more often than I do, and it just makes me shaky and kind of, you know, lose my train of thought, things like that. And it's not good for me. I should probably eat better, but I don't. I let the ending to Breaking Bad be spoiled for an ex because I was mad at him. When I was little, I wanted to be a vet. I fucking love sharks. I own a ton of makeup even though I hardly wear any. I've always been a gamer and I feel like I probably always will be. When I was little, I had super curly, super blonde hair. Clearly a little different than it is now. I recently started this journal thing full of handwritten quotes and little drawings. Obviously I'm not very good at drawing, but I figured I should probably try and occupy myself with something and work on something that I suck at. So, hand lettering and quotes, working on it. I kind of like the way it's turning out. I'm allergic to bleach. I love anything that has pasta, potatoes, and cheese. 
If I could have any superpower, it would be to read minds. I'm not a night owl or an early bird. I kind of work in that whole eight to 11 space, just kind of in the middle. I am obsessed with candles. I burn them all the time, even though honestly, I feel like I can't really smell them. I believe science and logic over faith. My toes constantly crack. So like, you know how you can like crack your fingers? Of course they're not gonna do it now. My toes do it all the time, especially when I'm walking up and down steps. I am extremely cynical. I don't believe that there is good in everyone. I don't trust people when I meet them for the first time. I don't know, just the way I am. And that is a 50, or at least I hope it's 50 facts about me. Anyways, obviously I'm going to leave this video here. And anyways, leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!